Arts and Storybook are like super powered component props. They can be shared between components, changed via the URL, or manipulated via UI controls in Storybook so you can change the way a story looks without having to change the code. I'm Shantastic. Let's dive in to Storybook Arcs. If you develop UI with component libraries like Svelte, Vue, or React, there's a good chance that you're familiar with passing props to components. But a goal of front-end workshop environments like Storybook is to bring more collaborators from different fields into the process of developing UI. And args are a way for us to connect component props to UI controls so that anyone who has access to the Storybook can explore different scenarios. This story renders a component using props only. If I wanna change these values, I have to change the code. Let's add args to this story. Take args as an argument for the story function and spread them over the component as props. This story changes in a somewhat unflattering way and that's because our args object isn't defined. Just add an args object to this primary function and give it those values we had before. Now check out the add-ons panel. In the controls tab, we'll find UI controls that have been automatically generated just because we used args. This is a lot of code for a single story. Let's try and optimize it with component story format three or CSF3. Return an object from the primary story. Name this render function render, then make args a sibling property of this object. This is looking better already, but we can take it even further. In CSF3, this standard render definition is assumed where component is defined in meta, meaning that you can now delete any story specific render functions. Because args are just plain old JavaScript objects, they can easily be shared between stories. Let's take the args from our primary story and share them with a new story. Add a primary large story, spread the primary.args object over the primary large.args object. Of course, we have no value for two identical stories, so let's add size large. We can define args at a component level, and when we do, all of the stories in this file will get those values as a default. Add an args property to component meta, define the children arg with the value click me. Because these values cascade, component args can be overridden by story args. Change the text for the large button story to more to click. And now remove values from your stories that simply duplicate the component level args value. Okay, now I wanna show you where args really start to unlock some collaborative potential. Hit the A key to open the add-ons panel. Simply by using args, we get automatically generated UI controls. Now, anyone with access to Storybook can change values without touching code. Okay, but what if we don't like the automatically generated UI controls? To change control types, add an arg types property to component meta. Change the control type from the default of radio to select. I like select because it's super clear that only one value can be selected. If you'd like to see all of the data types that we have controls for and the options available to you, uh, check out our documentation. The link has been included below. Okay, now I wanna show you what's happening in the URL bar. Notice that changes to args are represented in the URL. This means that any URL that you share will represent what you're seeing. We have some pretty clever ways of encoding complex types like objects and arrays into the URL. But what do we do for values like components where evaluating something from the URL might expose us to a cross-site scripting attack? There's a way to map arg type options to complex values. Let's do so for our button's children, adding an italic option. Add children to the arg types object. Add an options property with an array of strings, including the option italic. Finally, associate that key with a component value. Now we can use components as options in a way that is safely serialized in the URL. Now this object does not have to contain an exhaustive list of mappings. We can add our click me and more to click options and the strings are used as both key and value. And they will show as selected where they match story args. What a whirlwind tour through args. If you wanna learn more about args, check out our documentation. There's more about composing args as well as a list of all of the arg types you can use for different styles of controls. To learn everything you could possibly want to know about stories, check out our new YouTube playlist, Writing UI Stories. I think you'll learn a ton. Uh, subscribe if you want more videos like this. Like and comment if you wanna let us know how we did. And uh, that's it. I'm Chantastic. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.